Okay, uh, it's uh, Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. We're going to start the uh, Town of Sangerville Select Board meeting. Let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, uh, Jody's not uh, going to be attending today, um, so it's just Dale and I and uh, Patrick, and we've got some uh, gentlemen from the fire department. Um, approval of the minutes, select board meeting 9-20-23. Make a motion for a Second. We will vote in favor. Item three, review of treasurer's warrants, payroll 81 and 85, accounts payable 82, 83, 84, and 86. Make a motion to approve A and B is read. Second, both vote. Uh, open session, we're all family here, I just guess. So. Um, old business, town hall building. So last week we had our first workshop uh, and it went extremely well. I got some good feedback. A lot of positive. Yep. Uh, not one. Not everybody had the same view, the same opinion. Um, so we did task out some items to do some research on, you know, environmental impact studies, uh, on purchases, what it would take to do repairs. So different things we're all looking at so we can compile all this information and give back. Uh, the engineers come in Friday to talk with us and take a walk through there. Uh, this is part of the new town hall also. Then go up to the um, public works building to discuss what we need to do if we, if we can or if we want to or if we can move into there as the town office as a backup. So uh, with that, we, I mean, we got to, I feel like we got to have a little more time to put some of this information together to present to the town hall before we have uh, a special meeting for vote. Uh, well, the, the due proposal, I'm not sure what we're lacking there. Well, <clears throat> Some of it we got to make sure that if we're going to use federal funds where we stand with environmental impact studies and where the, that fits in building up here or where we might build. Also, I did go to uh, Dan Starbird. We walked through the Catholic Church last Friday because he's selling that. And he's got it listed for 190000 but he told me he would do much better than that for the town of Sangerville if we wanted that as a town office option. So there's another option that we need to go down to the rabbit hole to find out so we can present that too. So why would we, why do we need to worry about an, um, the environmental impact study until after we even get in the running for federal money? Well, that's, so that's, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you don't need to do that until you get there. Right. So it's not a it, it's not a delay. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that before you get to that point. I just if you think we're going to be able to get funding, then Jody's I, and I, so I I'm speaking from recollection. I may not get this exactly right, but when she spoke to the representative at Collins office, um, I I was left with the impression that. There's, there's money that's scheduled for early next year that is only available for projects that have been approved on the local level. Doesn't mean we'll get it, but we don't even have an opportunity to seek it unless we've approved it. Right. And it was from a bucket that isn't utilized much. We kind of fit in a niche because of the size of our community and what we would be doing with it. Um, so the sequencing of this, we, we, we kind of pushed this ahead because we wanted to get access to that bucket of money as early in 24 as we possibly could. That bucket of money is gone because now they're going to be starting to work on for 25. I'm wondering if it's the same bucket of money that she Correct. was talking about. That was just, it wasn't that long ago. She just spoke to this woman of like 60 days ago. When I talked to her two weeks ago, she said, 
that they're already appropriating all the funds for 24 and going through the list to approve and by March they'll start approving going through the the uh, acceptance by there, the end of there was month. a term was it regional there was a I don't remember the name of the tranche of money, money, but Jody wouldn't. I get. I, but well, the the thought process was if if that's correct <clears throat> was basically we we we'd want a chance at that money, mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't. We don't know whether we get it. If we did get it, and then and on top of that, because we were awarded the money, and we were told we had to do an environmental impact study, then we would do it. Yeah. Yeah. But. They're never going to tell us that we have to do it until they tell us we have the money. Mm -hmm. Is that fair to look at it that way? Yeah, it is. It, so I'll, I'll have to dig into it because I also uh, met with the uh, Main Development Center Foundation today and we were talking, and this is, is part of the old building. <clears throat> she told me today uh, that money for brick and mortar historical buildings is limited. It's difficult to get money. That was, oh, we, we've already been down this road. So yeah. that's just a whole other thing that is going to have to come out of this workshop. That the, 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 the concept that there's historical grant money out there for all these buildings is not there anymore. Well, it is. But the problem is it's not available as a municipality. Right. That's right. That's why, I mean, we've said this a zillion times. Because if a nonprofit wanted to take over that building there is all kinds of historicals yeah. as a non-profit uh van buren is in the same boat we are and they just dispositioned their municipal building to build a new one to meet the needs of not having seven thousand square feet for three people it's no different than dover to the same thing. right I mean, so they not profit of the but building the back those are two separate issues i think you're yep. absolutely right about that but if if there is a bucket of money yeah if jody's impression was accurate that's the motivation for trying to get sure. this thing going if there isn't a bucket of money it really doesn't need to we don't need the special so so uh, on top of all that, and it's in, in you know the town manager stuff, but we'll talk about it now. That's what one of the meetings Friday with the engineer is to go up here and discuss, can we even have the town office in the building as it stands right now? So I'm gonna start going into investigating it, can, and doing the analysis. Can we just clean up what's there for administrative space? You know, it's already heated into the one big bay. What does it, what will it take and what will the insurance say so i've already talked to an insurance company on change of purpose for that building and they're going to help guide us through or me through what <clears throat> what we can and can't do and what that looks like because even at this point that would be a small win for us to be have an office in there at this point now if we do go forward and we can build and we do get the money to build then we just would have to come up with an alternative you know maybe it's a mobile trailer for yeah the time temporary. That it's built you know so yep. that's that's where I'm headed, and that's how I'm driving that. We have the space that you know. Th there's other things that we know happened this week with tenants in the building. Sure. And I can't have taxpayers coming into a building that smells like that. You yep. know, I just and they're complaining about it yep. when they come in. And I, it's not. So I really want to try this week to look at getting in and working something out up there. That sounds like that dovetails. I don't. It makes total sense to me. Okay. Uh, move on. Yeah. Uh, item six, new business. So last uh, meeting when, when we had uh, uh, 30, 40 people here. Actually, let me do uh, Blaine first and then I'll move back to L. A. Can we do that? Yes. Yeah. You want to uh, do that? Take care of Blaine. Absolutely. Blaine's appointment for planning board uh, signature, and then we'll get you taken care of in the evening over the week, sworn in by uh, the town clerk. Can we do that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Big signature. Good right. last time. It's fine. Good. Rock and roll. What's it take? Their signature. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I'd like to go to the executive session. Okay. 
Uh, Dale's made a motion to go into executive session under 1 MRSA 405A. Um, this will be regarding Blaine New. Um, it's 409, and we're now in executive session. All right, it's uh, 413. I make a motion that we come back into session. Second. Uh, no action taken on the executive session. Um, we're going to uh, move ahead with the appointment of Blaine Newt to the planning board, effective, well, when you, you're going to swear in later in the week. Thank you for doing this. Actually, Blaine Newt could probably go down there. Wow. Well, this might be the end of it. I'll find out. I'm not going to go up. Yep. Yep. Thank you, sir. Very good. Um, there it is. So I don't need enough, anything there. You're, you're all set. Thanks for coming. Keep warm. All right. It is October. Uh, Patrick, uh, A, town manager's applications. So, <clears throat> taxpayers uh, in, the, in the big meeting last week uh, had asked if there had been any other um, applicants besides myself. And we know there was one after me. Um, and I would not have done this, but it was on record, and I wanted to make sure that it was clear that there was or was not anybody before me. Uh, going through the town manager email box, uh, there was on the on June 26th of 2023 an applicant that had uh, submitted uh, her resume, references, and cover letter as an application to the town manager of Sangerville, and this, so that would have been well over. A month or two before me and three weeks after the interim was right. appointed uh, and going through the resume that individual was more qualified than myself uh, to the point where she and I both academically are identical she had been a previous interim town manager and assistant town manager uh, I did go ahead and contact MMA legal to just make sure that everything was, you know, there was no violation of anything. Because uh, going through the email box, that resume and cover letter and references was never forwarded to the um, town select board. And I know that because going through the sent box, you can see where mine and the one after me were sent, but none before me. But they're the, in the inbox before me. So then I called the individual and asked her if she had heard anything, and she said no. But she was all set. She had a great job, and, you know, things happened. So I, I never would have brought this up if it hadn't been on record and somebody had asked last meeting. Sure. But I went and did my investigation and due diligence that, hey, was there ever anything else? And there was. And the individual was actually more qualified than myself. Well, like you said, we were never made aware of it. Um, so. town, um, town clerk, town we clerk. have an interim, Michelle Nichols. Uh, she started this past week. Uh, she did have to give her employer two weeks notice, so she's been coming in uh, at night helping, and it goes into some of the stuff below, but she's been working on the quarterly and uh, monthly taxes. They're all done. She did them. She's been teaching the deputy, so uh, she has experience. She's got 30 years experience. Uh, she came from uh, Guilford, and then she's also over at uh, was it Kingsbury? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then so she's she's uh, fit right in. Uh, we're gonna announce the permanent vacancy in another week uh, to the public, so that everybody has a fair chance. And I did discuss, and she knows this is interim. She has to apply just like everyone else. Good. Uh, next workshop for town office is the 16th of October at six. Same same place. We have a we have a really good team, like I said before. Uh, so I won't bully that. Uh, we talked about a special town meeting already. Um, we just need to get it on the docket. Someone sometime before I think January clarification from Jody and that's that's really going to drive that yeah okay uh, also 
uh, we got emails for from the solar company uh, discussing some of the decommissioning of our ordinance. Uh, I'm just providing that information to the town council and we'll just go with, with guidance from legal on that matter because that doesn't really apply to us besides legal. Correct. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I, I'll let Jody read this too, but um, yeah. uh, I'm inclined not to spend any funds on it. Any funds on He's making a re the, the nature of the request is such that he, they would still have to sign our ordinance, right? Uh, so I don't. It's very. It's kind of disjointed. So anyway, um. uh, my reports. Um, like I said, Michelle's been her and <clears throat> Sam have gotten the nine forty ones all done for the quarter and the month. So uh, as far as big rocks that were indicated before that we're going to miss certain suspenses or we have not we're, we're actually we're good we're fine they the warrant's been signed and they've been paid so we're good with that uh, we talked about public works building and meeting the engineer on friday uh, steering committees uh, i'm going to put the rec committee is starting um, Next week on the 11th, we're putting the recreation committee back together. We have a, a lot of phone calls for people that want to be involved in discussing the, the parks. Okay, we're, so are you having a parks committee or a recs committee? Parks. It, it's going to be the parks committee. Is okay. What, what it I was just, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, because I'm not going to get into the business of baseball, softball, of baseball, softball. softball. Pirate rec manages that very well. Yeah. I just don't want to see the no, town no. trying to do something that they're already covering as... Yeah, the area. No. Have you met with them? No, they're they're going to be a part of. They're it really, because, really dedicated um, group of people. Sure, yeah, they're really yeah. great. And so the, the individuals that are on our parks committee work with them very well and very yeah. close to them. So they're going to help. Uh, going to put a road committee back together. Um, just three or four, and it's not for input. It's more of life cycle of things what's getting done, how many feet are getting done uh, as we go forward. That rolls into the next, which is the budget. Uh, for town manager report and road commissioner, I need to start showing how much we're spending for how many feet and how much is actually getting done. Because Flanders Hill is almost done being ditched. It looks good, I went out. Uh, and it's still room for two cars. You know, it's actually a really nice job. Um, so I need to let show what we're, we're getting done for our money and what isn't getting done because we're starting to fall behind and we're going to be into winter time and things aren't getting completed and I'm afraid and, and it's not so much the job being completed as it is a safety thing for somebody traveling on those roads and getting hurt uh, from winter. Do you have any any asphalt company lined up? For Trench paving. Trench paving, those, all those bottles, so all those mills. Chris is going to do the trench paving because he's called Pike and they're open. Oh, okay. So he, okay. instead of. I'm going to work. Way we're going to. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So we comprehend that in my yeah. brain. You yeah. said that earlier. Yeah, so that's. Okay. You know, no, I just need work. to make sure that those loads get down with hot coming into November. Yep. As it's 80 degrees today, so. <laughs> <laughs> that won't last long. Uh, and then the committees and, and uh, the fire department, we're going to start looking at the budget. Matt's already produced a spreadsheet of all the equipment and the life cycle and where we're at with that life cycle so we can start looking at what needs to be programmed to be purchased for 24 uh, because some of it is a liability issue, new tanks and new packs, things like that. So make sure we're up to standard with the DOL and uh, going forward so that's what he and I are working on is programming not just for 24 but beyond 24 25 and 26 because we've already he and I already sat down and said these ones need to be done now and 24 coming up and these ones need to be done and we can we can get two more years or out of this life cycle and that way firefighters are getting updated new equipment and then we're able to justify it to the taxpayer that these line items are in fact at their life cycle. Uh, also gonna be putting probably the, now the park 
committee is going to be back together, we'll have that. Um, also, it's part of a budget, and I got to look to see how much we have for signs. I'd like to purchase an, a, an event sign so you can put down here by the town office on the corner says next meeting or this or something. I got to get prices. I know Sam has been doing a lot of work on looking at them. It's about a thousand dollars, but I need to see what we have and if we can, you know, take from Public Works in another area to put into that sign. And so probably next meeting I'll be asking if we can purchase one of those event signs. Well, if you need to ask, I mean, if you can line item in it, and you've got the funds that's in a in the Public Works or. However, you're going to, you know, it's public work. So for me, I'm guessing, I know what you're saying. You want to use it for events or whatever, but you could also use it for public works. Right. So it could be whatever. So French's Mill's got a culvert out. It's yeah. going to be closed yeah. from yeah. here to there. Yeah. Right. So as long as you're, you know, when you, that's kind of, if you think about that bigger picture, it really is going to be more of a, it's an everything sign. It's sure. going to be used for public safety. Mm -hmm. Then why can't you take it out of a public works line item? Right. You know what I mean? Whereas if your thought process is, I'm going to use it for office use only, and it's only about meetings, yeah. then really it needs to come out of something more office related. But yeah, no, I think it's 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 tailored to update so people know road mm -hmm. work on this room. Yep, yep. Or you know, and I don't see why you just can't take it out. But okay. All right. I'll look at that and then then we'll go forward with it. Uh, I, in our reserve budget, I know there's uh, some some uh, monetary amount in there, and I would like to start looking at investing some of that money um, so that it will accrue, you know, passive income for us. Yeah, I, well, we need a uh, we need an investment account. Of, you know, somebody like a Schwab or a Fidelity. Yeah. Um, the board needs to approve the type of purchase mm -hmm. and the duration, but I totally agree with you. There's a lot of opportunity there. Even even six months, you can get north of 5%. Right. So that should be done. And I'm, I'm glad to help with that part of it when we get ready. But And the board's never gonna, I, they'll always be guaranteed investments. Sure, they, sure. They won't be speculating on stocks or that sort of thing. Well, we, we would, I think we would make more money than we would with the half a percent we're getting in the bank account. Correct. And you, you can manage it. We ladder the portfolio bonds so you know when they're coming due. And and you can buy CDs as well. So it, it's And it doesn't have to be just the reserve account. I mean, we've got a, such an amount of money that's in general fund. As long as, if you think about it, your shortest, how do you wear this properly? Your shortest income month is right before taxes start. <coughs> so as long as, if you look at history, in those months, year after a couple of years, whatever we had down that we, that's the rest of it is free to go. Because yeah. other than that one or two months span, you've got plenty of money. Once that tax roll starts coming in again, then... Yeah. We should be able to generate 40, 50 grand a year. That would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to be able to re keep reinvesting that. So I'll start looking into it and I'll yep. start doing some research and portfolio uh, stuff. Good. Uh, this is 2024, not 2025. <laughs> but, uh, I'm used to working on the federal government fiscal year. Uh, I'm going to start programming the contracts now for mowing. Uh, so we're going to solicit it for. for or bid um, for cemeteries and then also going to start looking into nursing and so we're on that cycle where we need to be before November we've already got it committed by December so that's where I'm on roadside mowing huh roadside mowing roadside mowing yes okay that's so going to be one of them this is a topic every year for ever the board has clearly said every single road in town that we maintain in any level needs to be roadside mode. Yeah. Because if you go down to... And if you look at the list, it's yet to happen. If, if you travel down Grand Road right now, it, it needs to be mowed. If you travel down Anderson right now, 
and you think there's a shoulder, when you go over the culvert, you're sadly mistaken because it never got mowed yeah. and the grass is this high. So, but Anderson didn't get mowed. The boat launch. Boat well, launch. So the road committee that I'm putting together is going to be in charge of mowing also to make sure that that's getting done and we're programming that. So, well, the biggest thing is you just have to take your road list so when you put out your bid, yeah. they know that, you know, even we have Joey's a list road of, never gets mowed. The, no the one roads, knows never gets mowed. The highlighted roads were the ones that went out to bid, and some of them that should have been highlighted were not highlighted. Correct. Right. Okay. So, that's, was, right. it was really that simple. All right. Yep. I mean, the theory is if you at least keep it mowed down, the alders can't grow into those. Right. Even Milton Mills, we really don't do much down there for maintenance, but if we keep it cut back, at least it's helping it. Uh, then the next is the what is a Unitarian church over here just got registered on the main historic uh, as a registered historic building uh, they're going to send the certificate and everything so there's your letter here's my letter just says that they're that they're uh, they're registered now so what does that officially mean for the town that we have another landmark. <laughs> but I mean, tax wise, that doesn't change it's any not tax change. role. It doesn't no. change. No, it won't change anything. Okay. Yeah. So it's more of a, just an acknowledgement. Right. Okay. Uh, road Commissioner, as I said, Flanders Road's almost done. And then Scott's going to move over to Turner Road. And then, because that's only going to be a two day job for him, then he's going to move on to one of the others to, to continue ditching. And then we need Silver's Mills to be trench paid, but and, and I plan on, Mills. and French's Mills culvert, and I plan on putting in here, like I said before, an area that shows us what we're spending and what we're getting for our money, and then I'll put fire department calls on here. And you, I know you and I talked about this, but I just wanted to get it on the record. You're getting a quote. On cleaning up the mess that's behind the Puppet Works bill. Yes. So that, that'll be great. Yeah. So that's it for. Yeah, and I'm not really sure why, <laughs> but that's been an ongoing different contractors. It's for the last few years, the thought process has been if they change the culvert for the town, they could dispose of their culvert. Um, to me, if we hire a contractor to do that, they should dispose of that. Should be part of the package. Right. I mean, yeah. it shouldn't just yeah. be the collect all that the town has to worry about cleaning that up. I'm going to call Scrap Metal Company and see if they want to just come pick that up. Canavac Metal, my experience, is about your only option for an actual scrap metal company that would come do that. Now, there's a bunch of junkies, or I call them junkies, whatever you guys want to use it. They go around and collect scrap and haul it. You might get a local in here, but I'm just not sure if it's monetarily worth somebody traveling up here to load up just a few copies. I know, I know. Uh, last year, no idea where, but Clint actually he was crushing a bunch, right. flattened them out, and I know he had a trailer down there that was freighted. Yeah, guys like him, I'm sure it's worth. Right, yeah, but I mean, I don't, but even then, like, he had to take the time and he had to crush it all out, and it's not like there's any money in the way that you can. I think, I think all that metal, Dexter will take it. We just gotta, there again, you're gonna pay somebody to do that. Yeah, we're, gonna, you know, we're you talking. You pay more. somebody with a dump truck, you throw it all in the dump truck, and he takes it to Dexter, and I think. Our scenarios is it either goes away for free or paid. You might even make some money. Yeah, I doubt you're gonna make money. I doubt you're making anything, but, but at least it would go away. Game. Yeah. And you wouldn't expand it, that would be nice. nice. I mean, tires are tires are tires. Tires are going to, well, honestly, uh, trash clusters doing that trash. Mm -hmm. Automotive tires, they can take them. I don't know what's up there for tires. But it is a lot. Like, so, I'm not as bad as they the tire can take can, a few of those a there. week. It, it, there's also a big scrap pile of plastic from when the pile used to be covered. I mean, it's like. Same deal. Chest high. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. been there forever. The yeah. trash have never taken it. But again, I think that could go right to the recycling facility. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just a matter of someone putting it in that truck and yeah. getting it done. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? That's it for me. 
Still have missed concerns? None here. I'm quiet. Um, uh, Friday, are you going to try to attend with the engineer? It's one o'clock, did you say? I think you sent it. Let me message. confirm it again. Okay. I, I know if she's available, Jody would love to go. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know that she will be. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Sorry. It's 434. We're adjourned.